It is imperative that we get strategy. This is fresh is what I'm giving you right now. This is fresh. He said, this is the new season you're coming into. And I want you to pray when you don't know what to do, when you don't know what to say, when you don't know how to feel. I want you to pray, Lord, show me your glory. I see the trial. I see the characters of the drama. I see what is happening around me. But Lord, in the midst of all of that, let me catch a glimpse of your glory. What is the purpose that your glory is trying to bring about in my life? I don't want a, a cheap thrill in praise. I'm not just looking for a sensation when I praise. I am longing to encounter the glory, the kavod, the heavy shekinah or shekinah of his presence. The kind that settles the matter. You, you, you're one moment, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Show me. Show me your glory. And his glory can settle down over you. And in that moment, you see. It's like the light switch has turned on. It's like eye salve has been applied to your eyes. And now you're not just looking at the dark circumstances or the direness of your situation, but you're beginning to see how the glory is going to manifest. When I get through this, the glory of God is going to have accomplished everything that I could never have begun to accomplish in my own self. You let the glory fall. You let the glory fall. Now, it's important to note that in this experience that Moses had, God Almighty came. How was Moses able to write in the beginning? God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, and God did, and God said, and God. How was Moses able to write that? Because God encountered him. Hello? He encountered him on the mountain. When Moses cried out, show me thy glory. When Moses saw where God had been and what God had done in the past, when Moses was given an opportunity to see the hinder parts of God, he understood who God is. And he was able to see that no matter how dark it got, the glory was going to light the path. But I'm here to tell you that if you will allow the glory of God to show up in your life in this coming season, if you will stop limiting God by being the weapon formed against yourself, if you will quit letting the old cycles and the old paradigms hold you back and you will start praying with me, Lord, show me thy glory. He'll come to you in your darkest moment. He'll come to you in the midnight hour, hallelujah, hallelujah. He'll light up the darkness. He will lead you and guide you and give you peace. You will come out of that experience knowing exactly what God is calling you to in this hour.